Snap is already used by over 120,000 drivers, and with its easy to use payment service, HDV drivers can park, wash, and use the Dartford Crossing with ease, and even breakdown assistance is available. You don't need to pay on the day as the fee is invoiced to the fleet. The Snap network has hundreds of locations around the UK and Europe and is growing every week. And with Snap, you can pre-book your parking space ahead of time. What's more, Snap is free to join and there is no subscription. Get smart, get Snap. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, my name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. You join me on a Thursday, the day after my truck broke down. We are currently in, would you believe, my original truck, G14. Um, it's the one I first drove when I first come to Harry and Sons haulage. Uh, yes, my truck broke down yesterday, I was in the middle of uh, Merton, Wimbledon in London and um, just truck just died. It just died, just literally just went. Uh, we were there for about 90 minutes, waiting for recovery. We got pulled out to Redden Services. We then were met at Redden Services by another tower who then brought us all the way back to the yard. I'm not sure why we changed, but that's above my pay grade. So yes, we're in my original truck, G14. Uh, Rich is the normal driver who drives this one, but he's in the demo truck this week. Um, it is a bit of a mess in here. That's not because of the previous driver, but because I've dumped all my stuff in here. Um, I was just told to clear my truck out. It's not 100% cleared out, but like anything and everything I might need, um, I've had to just put in bags and dump in here. So nothing's organized, nothing's put away. Like I've got my bed in behind me. If I got to do a night out, I can, do you know what I mean? But I'm not gonna set the bed up just in case. Anyway, today we are delivering storage boxes to Aston Down Airfield. From Aston Down Airfield, we are going straight to Tetbury and we're getting loaded um, for a garden centre. Um, but I can't remember where the garden centre, where the garden centre is. Sort of like down, down south somewhere. Ah, I know what I forgot. I've left my sunglasses in my other truck. I knew I left my sunglasses in my other truck and I had full intentions of either A, bringing a second pair of sunglasses to work or B, grabbing my sunglasses out of my truck this morning. And I've forgotten both, haven't I? Ugh. Huh, just realised I left the delivery paperwork in the other truck. Oopsie. Okay, so here we are storage box is ready to come off as soon as that one comes off on the back end I can move the ratchets back to the back sounds like he's coming no it's not it sounds like he's going away <laughs> so uh, yeah let's get these off right so I'll just check where we're going we're going to a place called Beach Glade Farm in Crowborough uh, apparently when you put it in the Google it comes up as Sussex County um, garden centre or something I don't know <laughs> but yeah that's where we're going TN6 is the postcode so we'll get loaded uh, from Tetbury after we tip here we're only going to be here five minutes and then we'll uh, crack on down to Krubra right we're done we're tipped we're just going to put into the sat nav now our next destination Tetbort Tetbort Tetbury Malport lovely jubbly Thanks to the TomTom Tom Go Expert for getting me there. Seatbelt on. You will arrive at your destination at 8.28. Right, let's go. Let's see if we can get out in one smooth motion. Thank you. 
Right, I do. We can make that turn. Lovely jubbly. That looks like the next one coming out. Or coming in rather. Sorry mate. Oh, buddy, what do you think? Uh, I'm doing something else now. All oh, right. Yeah, for someone else. M4 is What it is? M4. Oh, is it? Yeah. Whereabouts? M4, M25. Slow. Yeah, that's where I'm going. <laughs> oh. oh I've got, I got to take this. All right, see you later, mate. All right, bud. How you doing? Oh, hang on. Yeah, you're right, mate. Yeah. Um... Right, anyway, so we're now leaving leaving the Aston Down Air Strip. Is it a strip on airfield? I don't really know, actually. I think it's a business park more than anything. Aston Farm. So yeah, we're gonna go to Tetris now and get loaded, uh, and then we're gonna make our way down to South. I'm also wearing my custom designed hoodie. We've had bigger down there drive. Feel free to check it out on my Teespring page. Teespring.com forward slash Luxie in HTV. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> we'll click the link down below. Um, but yeah, I'm always coming up with new ideas, new little designs. Check them out. This is my most popular one so far, so would appreciate it very much. So, very much so. Just want to give a quick shout out to the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. It is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HGV related taco rules and regulations, how to strap a load how to hitch up to a trailer uh, and also how to even get your HTV license in the first place. Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Anyway, we're going to crack on. I'll see you when we're leaving Tetbury. Um, we will hopefully then know what we got on us. I'm hoping it's pallets. Pallets would be so much easier. I don't have my stick for me if I've got bolt bags. It's one of me of a truck. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Right, we're loaded. That guy looked familiar then. Uh, we only need a brake on the way there. Uh, what have we done? We've done an hour and a half of driving, three hours and 15 minutes away, so that it is 15 minutes over, unless we can make up some time. We might make up some time actually, because this sat nav is set to the speed of my other truck, which does 53 miles an hour, whereas this truck does 56. So we could quite well make up some time. But before we continue, this is coming off. Seatbelt's going on, and uh, I put the postcode into the sat nav, but I haven't actually double checked exactly where it's going yet, so I just need to double check that. Yeah, it's pretty much, it's pretty much dead on the right place. That's good. We've got a truck coming in, so we're waiting for the truck to come on in. Mind you, you can park up behind that one there. It's a good thing now they've got these head oh there's a horse riding as well. We're gonna be stuck behind a horse on the way out. The good thing about um, these hedges is that they've been cut back. Downside is there's a horse bridle just at the top of the road and anyway, we are going. We're three hours and thirteen minutes away. Yeah, I think we are gonna to need to have a break. Unless we make up thirteen minutes, which is plausible. It is plausible. But again, we could also lose time. That guy stopped us early, said there's an accident on the M4, M25, so that could also hold us up. So we'll have to wait and see. But current ETA is 10 to one. If we need to get a break in as well, then obviously we're looking at like half past one, probably including a bit of traffic. So we'll get there as soon as we can. 22, 22 pallets, as I suspected it would be, all pallets, which means it should be nice and quick, nice and easy to get them off. So we shouldn't be there too long. So yeah. Anyway, let's get going. Right, we are on the A21. Is this lay-by frame? 
is this lay-by three. Yeah, there's some trucks in there. It might not be free. Uh, we'll have a look. It does look pretty full. But if we can get in and have a break, we will. Oh dear, someone's died there by the looks of it. It looks like it. Mm, I, think I, I think I can tuck in between that and the van. Look, I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I might just have to just reverse it though. I just poke my nose back out. And then just reverse it on in. Lovely doubly. And then just pull forward a little bit. Ugh. Okay. Right, so annoyingly, uh, Satnav just thought we're going back that way. <laughs> annoyingly, um, we've only got 15 minutes of drive time left and we're only 25 minutes away. We're 10 minutes shy um, of driving time. So even though we're just around the corner pretty much, uh, 25 minutes, we got to stop for a break. So that is what we're doing. Um, we're now going to have a break. Also, it is 20 to 1. I've had nothing to eat yet, and therefore I'm getting a little bit peckish. So, treat myself to a, uh, a cheeky Y food. This one is smooth vanilla, it's one of my favorite ones. Um, out of all the ones, I'm honest, again, 10% off if you click down below, code is LukeC10. Um, hazelnut, don't like. <laughs> um, coffee, I haven't tried it, but I know I'm not gonna like it. Um, what else was there? Oh, there's a berry one, which I thought would taste nice. It doesn't taste bad, but it just tastes bland, if I'm honest. And I know I'm not selling them, but <laughs> or selling it at the moment, but I'm honest. But vanilla, love. Banana, love. Coconut was all right. I'm going to order some more because I only had the one. Um, but it was, it was nice. And I had a little bit of the chocolate one. I don't normally drink chocolate milkshakes, I mean. But um, I only had a little bit because my wife had it. And she liked it, and I liked it, so I'm going to ask for some more chocolate ones next time. Um, but vanilla and banana, whew, they're definitely my favourites. <sighs> yeah. Oh, it's nice. So I definitely recommend banana and vanilla, if I'm honest. And I am, I'm honest. Someone said, oh, it's funny how no one mentions the price of them. Yeah, they're expensive. They're about £4 a bottle, pretty much. Um, but if you... <laughs> If you want to lose weight, like I'm trying to do, it generally helps. 500 calories in a bottle. So rather than snacking on chocolate and, and rubbish like that during the day, because I do, when you're driving along, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I'll grab something. I'll grab something out of the fridge. I'll munch on something. I will. But these have helped, and uh, they, they genuinely fill me up. So this is part of the reason why I'm losing weight. Just have a little sip here and there. That lorry can't park struggling and uh yeah so i've nearly lost a, a stone it sort of keeps going up and down up and down up and down um but i'm very close to losing one whole stone and why food has helped definitely recommend link in the description down below 10 percent off your expensive four pound bottle you can save the 40b mm. looks like the road narrows here Anyway, we're nearly there now. We're about five minutes out. Just got some of these uh, A roads to navigate, high streets and whatnot. It's quite a few. I forgot how nice the engine sounds on this truck. Like, it whooshes, woo, woo. <laughs> it whooshes around and it's use the engine brake and it's like, it's like so much more audible than the G16, the one I normally drive. 
It's a bit more rattly inside, I must admit, this one. But like the engine sounds that it makes outside, they sound awesome. You forget how good they sound. But gas. Anyway, we um, I phoned the guys up where we're delivering to, let them know I'm on my way. Uh, I, did, I was like, well, where do I go? Do I drive straight to the car park? It normally is the case of driving into the car park. So I just double checked and said, I am in an Arctic, I've got 22 pallets. They're, oh, we weren't expecting you today. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah. You're going to have to come into the car park. Oh, I don't know how you're going to turn around. Oh, so yeah, it's going to, it might be a bit of fun later. They said they're going to try and make some room, but um, there's a load of cars parked there. So it's, yeah, it's going to be interesting, I think, but I'm sure we'll be all right. Um, yeah, so I had half an hour break earlier. Um, so we are, well, we're reset for driving time now, minus 30 minutes. So we've got four hours of driving time remaining before we need to stop again for another break. We should be there in, like I said, like three minutes now, we'll be there. Um, and then we've got, to, we've got to drive back to Pusey from here, get loaded with hay. I'm not entirely sure how long it takes to get there. It's going to be about two hours, I think. Maybe two and a half to get back. Uh, but also time is getting on as well. So it's 20 to two now and the, no, sorry, our ETA is 20 to two. So uh, we're well, just after 20 to 2. So by the time we leave here, I'm hoping they don't take too long. Maybe quarter past two, something like that we leave. But even then, it's going to be like quarter to five by the time we get to Pusey. It's going to be getting on a bit, do you know what I mean? So um, get loaded there and then back to the yard. It's going to be gone six o'clock tonight, I think. But we will do what we can. And this particular vlog is probably going to be a double, a double day video. So... Um, we get loaded from Pusey, I'll go back to the yard and then I'll probably see you in the morning and deliver that. It's going to Northampton. Where we're going from Northampton, I do not know. No idea yet, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. Right, so as we approach the site we're delivering to, I'm just looking at my mirror, see if there's anything behind me. We do have a lorry behind us. So, uh, yeah, he's coming up quite quick as well. So we are going to start indicating just to let him know that we are going to be turning right. Engine brake on. Oh yeah, it's going to be a little bit tight. I'm glad I'm not coming out loaded. It's a bit of a bit of an incline. No one's going to let us out now, are they? Come on, then. And in we come. Over the speed bump. Yeah, we've got a few cars down here. Yeah, turning around could be a little bit fun. If that car moved, we'd be all right. We can... Yeah, they put stuff out here, look, to stop cars parking here. I've got no idea where they want to tip us. I'm going to assume we reverse back and they get us over side. I assume. Because they could get us this side and they can get us that side between the cars. And what, well, actually, if that car moves, we might be able to get out that straight down there. I'll show you, so you can see might be able to get out around there but i think the safest bet would be to reverse back and turn around and go down the way we come in rather than go go down there i don't think that'd be right anyway we're here we're in neutral hazards are on just so that people know we are a halard let's get this tipped off although i will have a cheeky cheeky sip of uh, of white food oh god that's good 
Okay, so all the straps are off, curtains are open, we're in, uh, and he's starting to offload us. This side is uh, ready to go as well. I tell you what, it's not the not the newest, shiniest truck that we have on the fleet, but my God, does she pull? That thing pulls better than my truck, I swear to God, and it's faster as well. Right, forklift driver's decided that he doesn't really have enough room here. Mm, I think he does, but anyway, so he's doing the other side now, and then we're we're scoot on over a little bit. Yeah, got loads of room this side. Look. So we do this side, then we sort of move on over to there, and then you've got loads of room for that side. Then it'd be a case of going back, and then out behind those cars, and then this sort of side of that building, and then up there. So that's the plan anyway. But while we're waiting, we're gonna jump back in the truck, and we're gonna get our next destination planned. Right, it's on standby, so let's just turn it on. That's where we are now. And, we want to go to Pure Pastures and Pusey, which is going to be there. Yes. Hang on. We don't want to drive. We want to... Yeah, drive to it. There we go. And then as easy as that, planned a route. Oh, my God. 10 to 5 if we leave now. Oh, man, it's a three-hour drive. I'm going to have to make a phone call. Just double-check what time they load till. <laughs> Right, yeah, just found out they're, 20, they're 24 hours, so uh, plenty of time. Uh, I've also just added a couple of pinpoints just so I go in the certain way that I need to go in. Uh, sat nav default takes you this way, which is the quickest way, but we have a designated way to go in, so we've got to follow the, follow the route, which is one of the reasons why I love this sat nav because you can just add your points where you want to go and then it'll just take you the way that you want to go in. Once you've done that, it literally takes like 30 seconds, maybe 60 seconds tops. Once you've done that, it's in, it's done. Bob's your uncle. It's still taking three hours. It doesn't make much effect on the time it takes. But yeah, so <laughs> if we leave now, we're going to be there for five o'clock. Um, we're going to be here at least another half an hour, I think. So it's probably looking like half past five. Half past five is going to mean that by the time we're loaded out of there, it's going to be like quarter past six. And then maybe back in the yard by seven so that's what we're doing today <laughs> um i don't know i'm in two minds i might do i want to sleep in the truck i might just sleep in the truck tonight i don't know head on up to northampton and uh yeah i don't know might do that we'll see we are tipped I need to wash my hands but i got no water on me I normally carry a jug of water or wet wipes. But obviously I've left them in the other truck. Back, yeah? yeah, cheers mate. I've left them in the other truck, so I can't actually wash my hands. Anyway, we've got to reverse back now. Mid lift axle, which one are you? Where is the mid lift axle on this one? There we go, down there. <laughs> they're in they're in different places on the Euro 5 and the Euro 6. <laughs> Guy's watching me back but I can't actually see him in my mirrors. We're good. We're out of here. Now, obviously, we've got to go out the wrong way. Because we're not going to get around any of the other corners. But 
But it's this exit here which is going to be interesting. We're going to spin getting out of it. Also, the road looks quite busy on the right, so we're going to try and get out on one go. Nope, not going to make it in one go. That is not what we wanted. Okay. We are spinning, we are spinning, we are spinning. That car coming out is now indicating to go into where we're just coming out of, so it's coming, coming quite handy. Right, we are now heading towards Pusey. It's going to be a good three hour drive there. Um, which means we'll be going through Pusey pretty much come five o'clock, which isn't the friendliest of places for lorries, let alone rush hour. So it's going to be interesting when we get there. Uh, hopefully we're tipped, uh, sorry, hopefully we're loaded nice and quickly. I will then do a print out and see how much driving time we have left for the day, because we're going to be close to our limit. Our limit. Like by the time we get back to Swindon, it's going to be an hour. Um, sorry, it's going, to, yeah, it's going to be an hour to Swindon. So I reckon we're going to be on like eight, nine hours then maybe eight and a half. We'll have to do a printout and find out for sure. But I might just carry on at the 4.20 uh, to Oxford, A34, M40, and just carry on and then park somewhere up there uh, on the way to Northampton. I'm not sure. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to see how much driving time we've got left. I re I'm in two minds. I got, <laughs> if, it, if I was in my truck, no doubt about it, I'd do it. But because I'm in this truck, someone else's truck, I'd rather not do a night out. I'd rather not have to set my bed up just to pack it all away again the next day. But at the same time, it's going to be quite late. Um, like at least uh, half seven, I'm going to say, before I'm back to the yard, if I go back. So I'm, I'm very much in two minds whether or not I want to go back or not. We'll, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, it's a good three hour drive back. It's going to be dark probably when I see you next in three hours time, but uh, I'll see you when we are at Pusey. See you in a bit. Okay, so we are still a good six miles away, which is about 15 minutes, but we are, we are on country roads now. And uh, it's pretty much like this all the way, country roads and town centers. So I thought I'd have the cameras on, leave them rolling. The road's taking me to the ditch a little bit there. We go bear right a little bit get out of the ditch there we go yeah the road is sort of on the left hand side you get too close it sort of pulls you into the ditch you don't want to be going in the ditch that's for sure i mean it is nice it is a nice view of pusey i must admit lovely view good old countryside there's nothing to say trucks can't come down here but i have had uh cars particularly at the end bit i've had cars shaking their head at me it's like why are you shaking your head i'm allowed i'm allowed to come down here <laughs> that's it use that engine brake bring it on down to a nice controlled pace to go around this corner all clear lovely Still not sure if I'm doing a night out tonight or not. I, uh, I'm literally in two minds, 50-50. I don't need to be at Northampton until half past eight tomorrow morning. It's about two hours drive there. So in theory, I don't need to start work until half six. So it's not like a mega late, uh, sorry, mega early start. So even if I do get back to the yard at seven o'clock, I'll, uh, I'm still gonna have a, a good 11 hours off, do you know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see, if I can get 11 hours off, then I think I'll probably go back to the yard, uh, back, back to the yard and go home because it only takes me 10 minutes to get home anyway but if we're going to have less than 11 hours off then I might as well just do a night out so it does depend on how long it takes to, to get loaded and make our way back we're making a decision probably whilst on route we'll see what the traffic's like should be quiet hopefully because I mean what, well, what time is it now it's, it's 5 o'clock now so yeah I mean people are going to be finishing work now hopefully and uh, by the time we leave Pusey, or by the time we get loaded and leave, hopefully the roads would have uh, quietened down. Especially when you get closer to Swindon. And Marlborough, we've got to go through Marlborough. Not Marlborough, yeah, is it Marlborough? 
Yeah, Marlborough. I always get Marlborough and Melksham and Malmesbury mixed up. Don't know why. But yeah, Marlborough. Okie dokie. So this is where one of the cars tell me to... Uh, I shouldn't be down here. Nothing to say I can't. Right, now we enter the town of Pusey. We do have a relatively nasty left turn coming up soon. Uh, and it might be busy because it is now five o'clock. So a window down so I can concentrate. <laughs> Window always goes down where you want to concentrate, doesn't it? We've also got to navigate some single track roads as well. Because it's five o'clock, people are going to be finishing work. They could be busy. So this might actually turn out to be a bit of a nightmare, but we're, we'll see. Can we go? Yeah, we can make that. Now this is the left turn where it gets a bit a bit cosy and I can see there's already cars queuing around the bend but we need to physically get on the other side of the road to make it here's where it gets interesting Gonna just make it. Not clip the curb, don't hit the car with the overswing of the trailer. Back out. Lovely. Like I said, that was the left turn that I uh, knew was gonna be a bit dodgy come five o'clock, but we made it, we made it, we made it. We go back out that way on the way out, I believe, because the road's closed up here, which is the way we would normally go back to Swindon. So we have to come back out and then go that way. That's it through the high street. I'm going to take a left here. It's all clear on the right. Yep. Lovely jubbly. Okay, we've got to take up the road when we go around this bend. Is that van wanting to go down there? We'll let him go. Let's go. That car's going to realise there's not a lot of room. And then this is an arch bridge, so we've got to take it in the middle. Okay, now we've committed. Anything coming the other way, we'll have to be careful. Like, <laughs> I'm already halfway through the bridge before we come round. Arch bridge in the middle. There's signs. There'd be a sign right there saying large vehicles in the middle. Right, at this roundabout, we take a left. It's, um, yeah, people like that, cars doing what that car just did. It's just, um, inexperience I think on the car's behalf they don't know how much room lorries need they could be driving cars for 20 years but they don't know how to drive the lorry or how much room a lorry needs so they just don't know so they just carry on coming and then they realize you know they're, they're in your way you can't get angry at them they don't know do they they hopefully they come away knowing a little bit more if anything cavity was parked uh, where was he parked? Was it here? No, it wasn't here. It was here he was parked. I, I don't think he was filming that day. But yeah, he was parked right here. I parked my truck over here out the way. Walked down and come and saw him and just chatted to him for five minutes. See my mate. Right, this is where it gets interesting. You've got to give way to me. Because now we go down a single track. Of course, I'm not in my truck. I'd normally have my beacons on as well at this moment in time. Just warning anyone coming from in front that, you know, I'm a hazard. Here we go. We've got a car coming. 
That's right. We're we're in a good place where we are. It's nice and wide here, but much further down it won't be. Let's flash that card as well. Yeah, we've got some cars coming. I can see them coming down. Come on. Is that car coming down up there? I think we're good. Can't see any more headlights, but we might. It gets a bit bendy up ahead. We might meet someone else. What we're trying to do is just keep a, a vision above the hedges, because the car's lights are on, you can see. You can see them through the hedge lines. So we are just scouting up ahead just to see, like I knew that car was coming all the way back down there. It's all looking good at the moment. This was another place to pass. If need be, we can pass here. It's always worth looking out for like potential places to reverse back to if you need to. Obviously it's a lot easier to reverse a car than it is a truck. But it's just good to remember. Oh, gravy baby. Oh, gravy baby. Uh, we've got a car coming down. It's a bit narrow where we are. Can you budge over onto the mud a little bit? Yeah. Thank you very much. Got another car coming down, I can see through the hedge line. Does it open up anywhere down here? See, there's the car. So I saw the car ages before I actually saw it in person, you know what I mean? if that makes sense, because I can see the lights from quite far away. He's just turned his lights off. Right, we definitely don't want to meet a car now because there is nowhere for either of us to go, except for straight out. Lovely jubbly. We go straight over this round, uh, roundabout, we go straight over the crossroads. Remember I uploaded a short video not too long ago about uh, a mare telling me off. Well, his house is down there. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got to come out the same way we just come in. Don't know why. I've never been further than this. I would like to find out one day. Maybe I'll take my car for a ride and have a look, see what's down there. See if I could get a lorry down there or not. But we've all, we always go out the way we come in. Right, we're here. So we're just going to park up, get our curtains open, get loaded with straw or hay. Oh, it's hay, I think. Yeah, it is hay. And uh, make a decision as to what we're going to do, where we're going to go, because yeah, I'm very much 50 50 at the moment. Very much so. I wonder if they let me park here tonight, actually, think about it. Because they got like another place down there, like literally behind this building. I wonder if they'd let me park there for the night. Okay, we are now loaded with the hay. We're going to head back to the yard, I've decided. We're going to go home tonight, sleep in our own bed, start again tomorrow morning, make our way to Northampton for, uh, for half our steak. So it's going to get dark now. I will see you in the morning. Uh, should be light. <laughs> see you then. Okay, and welcome back. It is now morning and it is light outside. <laughs> um, right, we're just around the corner pretty much from Northampton now where we've got to be delivering. Um, so we're going to head on in there. Hopefully we can get on a base straight away. Uh, paperwork says it was due on the 21st, um, which was like, well, it's the 28th now, so it's seven days ago. I was actually supposed to do this. If you follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, you'll know that I was at a place for like eight hours, I think it was. No, no seven hours. It was, it was uh, Pets at Home in Stoke. I was there for seven hours. I was supposed to tip there go up to Manchester, get a load of pallets, bring that back down to Swindon, and then collect what load I've got right now and bring that back up to Northampton again the next day. But because I was held up in Stoke, uh, the delivery couldn't get done. So we've got that delivery on now. We've still got the paperwork for um, last week. So it's just got last week's date on it, last week's reference, last week's delivery time. It says on it, delivery time is one o'clock. <coughs> now that's the problem because <laughs> We, we actually want to get in this lane. It's, do we want to get in this lane? No, we want to be in this lane, left lane. So it's not a delivery for one o'clock, it's a delivery for half past eight, so I'm told. But we don't know for sure whether it's actually on their system as a delivery for half past eight this morning. So we've got to find that out, basically. Hopefully they will let us in. Hopefully we can get on the base straight away. It is actually half past eight right now. 
Um, yeah, 8.30 bang on right now. And we'll be there in one minute. So we're on time. Minus a minute. <laughs> um, so fingers crossed they let us in. Well, I'm sure they let us in. It's just whether we get on a bay straight away or not. Also, they do things a little bit differently at this one. They don't have bay numbers. They have bay letters. It's like LMNOPQS or something. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's see if they let us in. And onto a bay. I want to go left here. Oh, we have a queue. We have a queue. Excellent. Bay U. Thank you, mate. Thank you for Bay U. <laughs> G14. Oh, I'll turn the engine off. G14. Cool, brilliant, thank you. Excellent. So we want Bayou. Bayou, in that country, Bayou. I might be wrong. Excellent, right. I'm gonna go and open the doors. Okay. Okay, straps are off. So what we've got to do now is open the door. There we go. Whole load, double stacked. Just put the doors like so. That's one in place. Put the other one in place now. Okay, so back doors are open. We now jump back in the truck, reverse it fully back onto the bay. And then we've got to go hand the keys in uh, so they don't, so I don't drive off basically. <laughs> And we go on back. Should come to some resistance about now. There we go. There we go all the way on, handbrake on, into neutral. And that's it, window up. Gonna go hand the keys in now, uh, and the paperwork. And then, on to the next job. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my merch. We've got bigger down there drive, even though it's very dirty. That's the problem when you're, you're doing your curtains backwards and forwards. You just get dirty. So just keep it on. It's all right for another day. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Check out uh, my uh, merchandise links in the description down below. Check out Waifu, check out TomTom, Tom, check out all my sponsors, Avail, Deeper Drivers. Track it 24 7. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Bye bye.